The Taliban is now recruiting suicide bombers to be part of their army ranks. No, they really are. As the terrorist group looks to recruit 100,000 new troops. Well, it hasn't taken long, has it, for them to show their true colours in Afghanistan? Because, and this is the remarkable thing, they were described at the time of the Taliban takeover as country boys with a code of honour. This was unbelievably said by Britain's former Chief of the Defence Defense Staff, Nick Carter. That's how he put it. And Boris Johnson was right about them when he said they'd changed, wasn't he? I mean, it's just unbelievable. Well, I guess he's often wrong about things. I guess the one good thing is the Taliban's remaining main rival in Afghanistan is the equally appalling ISIS and after the US, and we scuttled off into the sunset, maybe they'll fight it out with each other. I don't know. The important point here about the Afghan army under the control of a Taliban government, the important point here is to offer my congratulations to Joe Biden. That really is a job well done. You've put these people back in charge. And, of course, I must also congratulate CNN, The New York Times, Twitter, Facebook and all of you. You've got your man. This was the foreign policy that it led to, to the removal of troops. It's been a complete an utter disaster. And here's the most extraordinary thing about all of it. And it really is extraordinary. And it is that the Taliban are still on Twitter. You know, we've seen a, politi- a UK political website this week that have been banned from Twitter for reasons that I frankly can't comprehend. We've got the 45th president of America banned from Twitter and banned from Facebook as well, and yet the Taliban can still actively tweet away. Who knows? Maybe they'll put a job advertisement up there. And another, what the Farage moment, and this is extraordinary, but it says a lot about woke cancel culture and why it is such a mess. A school in Chelmsford that cancelled J.K. Rowling and removed her name from one of its houses over her apparently controversial comments on trans people and replaced her with Olympian Dame Kelly Holmes. Well, they're now beginning to look a little bit silly as it's emerged that Dame Kelly has made just as tough, if not, in the eyes of some, worse remarks. Two years ago, the gold medalist said, why not have a trans category if need be, but even better, a trans Olympic Games to avoid a backlash and abuse from spectators? Oh, dear, oh, dear, oh, dear. The woke left have once again tied themselves completely in knots. So what are Boswell School in Chelmsford, Essex, going to do now? Well, maybe replace Dame Kelly. But then who with? Maybe freedom fighter Nelson Mandela. No, that won't work. He was convicted of terrorism. Perhaps the new house could be named after Mother Teresa. Surely there was nothing wrong with her. She was a saint. Oh, dear. No, it won't work. She was anti-abortion. So now, you see, we're in a situation where nobody is beyond being cancelled. If they've upset, at any point in time, a minuscule amount of the population, if anyone takes offence, people just seem to get banned. It is utterly, completely bonkers.